See, um, it's my first time telling a story at Mass Mouth. I've been trying to get here for a number of months. <laughs> Finally made it. <laughs> and I'm going to, in honor of the rainy weather, tell you a story about when, about this time of year when the weather was really, really hot and sunny. Uh, Doria knows, the rest of you may not, that I like to ride my bike just a little bit. <laughs> Um, I used to ride the main Lung Association Sunday River to the Sea ride. It was a th three day ride across Maine, uh, about 60 miles a day. And one of the rides, it was stinking hot. It was probably 100 degrees every single day for three days. And we're all like riding down the street, going, oh my God, who signed us up for this? And I learned a lot of things on that trip and also had a very cute experience. Um, one of the things I learned is that the way to, for, the, for me to fend off dehydration is to drink water until my stomach feels like a great big water balloon. And so when I move, it goes whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. And as soon as it stopped going whoosh, I would drink more water until it would go whoosh again. And then, and that, and it worked. And there were people who were younger and fitter and skinnier than me off the side of the road, unable to function. As long as I was going whoosh, I was okay. <laughs> I also learned that when I began to become dehydrated, I would start swearing in my head. So I would notice that if in my head was, I was going, I was, I'm sorry, oh, I'm getting a little dehydrated, better drink some water. I wasn't mad, I was just, because that's one of the symptoms of dehydration, irritability. <laughs> And so that has stood me in good stead over the years. And um, so we're riding along, we're on this, I think the second day, and we'd, we're up and down and through the wilds of Maine and on these roads and going through construction sites where you could see the contractors like, you people are out of your minds. And um, so I, I'm going up this hill, riding up this hill, and I have a, a mantra for climbing up hills when I'm riding my bike. The old gray mare, she ain't what she used to be. Ain't what she, I mean, it just got me up a lot of hills. <laughs> so I'm going up this hill and it's kind of curved. So I can't see up the top of the hill. And I keep hearing, woo! Woo! All this yelling coming from this hill. And I'm like, what's going on at the top of the hill? And I'm, you know, Green. And I get up the top and there's this kid standing in his front yard with a hose and a two liter soda bottle. And he's filling up the soda bottle and, he, and I say, get up to him, he goes, do you want me to splash ya? And I'm like, yeah. And he takes his water bottle and he goes whoosh with it. And he soaked me from head to toe with this water, with this bottle of water. And I'm like, woo! And that was what was going on at the top of the hill. <laughs> And that's my story. Oh. <laughs>